always wanted to ask an isro scientist this do you believe in aliens sir answer is a definitely yes you believe in aliens yes yes okay yeah, yeah. uh why do you say definitely yes so because uh, many people think that the uh, the concept of alien is in the realm of a paranormal kind of uh, or it's some, something like a fiction yeah but uh, just based on the pure scientific principles uh, if you look at uh, because earth is uh, just one planet and uh, it's just a uh, um, sun the, the 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 star sun which is uh, where the earth is rotating around sun is one among the billions of uh, stars in the milky way galaxy and you have billions of galaxies uh, in the universe so um, the probability of only having intelligent species just in earth uh, if you look at all the billions and trillions of planets that is uh, possibly available in the universe is very very rare hmm. i am just inverting that probability that it just we being only intelligent species in the universe is the high, there's a very low probability for that mm, like mathematically speaking mathematically uh, it is impossible okay so that just only one planet have intelligent species so the natural consequence is that in the universe it is teeming with intelligent species okay are any of those <laughs> secret projects related to aliens or some kind of alien life um i will not be able to <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. like um el- this aliens is not the means uh, you can say there's not many there are di- different kind of uh, secret projects which uh, which is better we cannot have okay, it in no a problem. public conversations yeah. but i am giving you the the most important factor that uh, like uh, means uh, acknowledging or believing in alien is not something which is absurd yeah and i you can get it from a, uh, like i'm giving you a, like authentically from a scientist i'm saying it's pos- it's a kind of natural in the universe to okay. have uh, intelligent species like humans and uh, the second consequence because uh, your question have an another consequence like because whether the aliens are there uh, in our uh, local neighborhood so that is the most important question the thing is you mean you mean the solar system yes mm. so the the natural because that is another because mathematically uh, the existence of intelligent species is given there are no doubt about it people who argue opposite seems to be kind of absurd basically mm. now whether the second question whether they are, they are available or uh, present in the uh, in our premises that is uh, like our neighborhood planets uh, moon or uh, in the in the earth uh, like around in the area of earth that is what the kind of question where people will be like gray like some people will say yes some people will say no so even there uh, so there are two camps whether they are there or not uh, in our premises so i have like based on my own kind of it's not nothing i, I don't put isro here but uh, my own kind of uh, analysis independent analysis uh, like seems that there is a kind of uh, alien that is intelligent presence other than human presence in uh, our planet itself in our planet yes you mean earth yeah yeah you, and there is some other intelligent yeah i mean saying that like th- there is an ambient uh, alien presence all over the universe what does that mean means because of the mathematical probability right okay. because uh, you 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 should have the uh, intelligent species other than uh, humans in the universe that is the natural probability that is that is what Wh- why did you call it ambient ambient means uh, it's like it's again prob- ambient basically based on probability okay so if you give if you take a given you take a sector of the milky way galaxy then there are certain number of Uh, habitable planets that is possible in those uh, in that particular sector hmm. and out of that kind of uh, habitable planets a lot of them can be advanced civilizationally advanced and uh, a lot of them can be of the level of human human being so human being uh, like our kind of uh, capabilities uh, if you, if you measure uh, basically our, uh, like we have just uh, have the full control i mean i would say more or less have full control of the single planet earth and we are capable of exploring our uh, stellar neighborhood so there are categories for the designating aliens uh, based on this uh, their capability so this is the this is one of the base capability that we say that any kind of sentient beings that is what i am including that's colloquially called aliens uh, they can have in different levels of technology so one is they have control of their own planet second level is uh, not only they can control their planet I mean they can navigate around the planet within within a day 
but they are also capable of exploring the neighborhood the stellar neighborhood so we are at that stage so you have you can have uh, uh, this uh, aliens in different um, uh, systems that is similar kind of habitable planets which are much more advanced than us mainly because they started earlier because that is a that is one possibility again this is a, again mathematical possibility that i am talking about because sun started at uh, the birth of sun happened uh, somewhat uh, like a, during the middle age of the universe so universe the birth of universe uh, the current theory is mostly between 15 to 13 billion years the universe has uh, expanded and it has originated out of that somewhere uh, sun is a kind of a second generation third generation star so there are stars which uh, are born and died much earlier than the this current generation of sun you can think about uh, sun as a uh, like second generation third generation star so you have first generation and second generation stars which are older than sun uh, and so all the habitable planets which are um, revolving around such a star will have a civilization which have already advanced more advanced than us mm. so these kind of civilizations uh, they can uh, like go to the next level of your technological advancement that is not only exploring your stellar neighborhood but inhabiting the stellar neighborhood you mean for egg for example in our solar system mm. creating a civilization on mars yeah terraforming mars, terraforming mars moon mars and europa these are the kind of even people have decided based on the kind of climatic conditions and the proximity to the earth uh, there is a kind of well defined progression of how humanity will expand into solar system so uh, the the first will be moon uh, because of the proximity so moon is not habitable it is a empty space but it is very pro- uh, very much close to earth because of which you can transfer water or any kind of natural resources between earth and moon so moon can have a very high probability of being colonized maybe just uh, at the same time when mars is colonized see mars have a more habitable kind of an environment uh, with a, a slightly blue like not a completely like a similar kind of sky but more or less very similar kind of sky uh, and a very similar kind of day around 24 hour 24 to 25 hours of uh, uh, a day everything is there and axial tilt exactly similar to the earth's axial tilt very very close to earth so we it has got a very close neighbor like a very uh, very good kind of a climate uh, which like and six, uh, minus 16 degrees that is some temperature that you get in mars which uh, many people can easily live in india uh, in 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 a planet earth so mars and uh, moon they are they can even compete which will be the first habited habitable kind of environment and then you have uh, the asteroidal the asteroidal belt region uh, where there are so many uh, small uh, like uh, dwarf planets like cirrus which have the capability to sustain human life in a kind of possible in a sec- next stage which which planet uh, cirrus cirrus yes that's a part of our solar system only uh, it's like part of the asteroidal belt it's the largest uh, asteroid it's okay. it is spherical it's more or less like a dwarf planet but it's within our solar system yeah yes it's like for example after mars you have an asteroidal belt hmm. inside that this is one of the planet one uh, of the big asteroids uh, one of the bigger uh, big asteroid so it's currently designated a dwarf planet or asteroid like that okay so that kind of uh, those uh, cirrus and then eros so so many such uh, dwarf uh, this uh, asteroids or dra- dwarf planets can also sustain human life and that entire asteroidal belt is a completely mir- mineral rich because all kind of minerals which are required for uh, sustaining human human life and also valuable for assets for human beings like gold gold and then uh, titanium then copper iron all this material that are required for constructing a spaceship see all these things are available in the asteroidal belt region so you will colonize basically ultimately you will be having uh, human habitation in that area as well similarly mars and then uh, you have the moons of jupiter like uh, io europa ganymede callisto these three four well, all the four planets are capable of sustaining uh, human life once you have achieved, achieved that kind of uh, technological capability and you have uh, uh, some moons of uh, saturn that is uh, titan which is having even liquid uh, nitrogen oceans all these things and this europa have like water uh, ocean etc mm. so what i'm saying is maybe we are drifting from the question no, there's no drifting in podcasts it's like <laughs> okay, this only yeah. so what i'm saying is uh, uh, basically here the every civilization or every sentient beings uh, will achieve certain level of maturity so that 
they will leave their home planet and start exploring their stellar neighborhood okay so that stage is over and then they will go to the next stage where they start exploring the galactic uh, that is the entire galaxy they will explore and at that stage because uh, it is uh, based on the statistical analysis uh, the possibility is that there are uh, minimum some 14 to 20 intelligent uh, ca uh, like uh, systems in the uh, in our our own milky way galaxy intelligent Intelligent means, means because of the uh, the nature uh, the the habitable zones around these uh, planets. Uh, I mean, uh, on this uh, the stellar the stars, which is part of the Milky Way galaxy system. There are now currently people identify around fifty fifty six systems such systems, and our uh, search for extraterrestrial intelligence that kind of uh, SETI and all these people are focusing on those systems to get some signals uh, out of them. So this is happening. This is all uh, already there in place, and people are very seriously like considering this kind of things. Uh, just like I mentioned, like it's uh, like the presence of aliens is a given thing. It's not some uh, matter of speculation. Statistically, it is the natural thing. So uh, ultimately, what I'm saying is, um, you have at least uh, um, uh, more than a dozen of uh, intel uh, systems that can produce a civilization which can advance to the next stage of galactic exploration. Okay. So when I say galactic exploration, naturally those intelligent beings will come to uh, planet Earth because which we also have, is an intelligent being. Mm. And um, any kind of uh, civilization that is, I use the word civilization because again, the same, same word for aliens. Right? So it's an extraterrestrial civilization can sense whether intelligence is there in a planet based on the electromagnetic uh, signals that we release. And we have been releasing it for uh, more than uh, 70 years. So definitely uh, those signals will reach them and they will be available present here. We've been releasing them how? Through like satellite dishes? Uh, because of the natural, like the, the moment you discover radio signals and we started radio transmission, then we are automatically sending out radio signals from planet Earth. Okay. And these radio signals will, will never end. It will keep on spreading to the... Uh, like beyond the solar system with at the speed of light. Okay. So this will be captured by any intelligent being and this, they will aware that, okay, there is intelligent uh, beings in uh, planet Earth and they will come and seek. Mm. So that is, I'm coming back to that point because of which there is a kind of 90, I will always say probability. So there is a 90% probability that some of the intelligent beings are on planet Earth watching us. Already? Already. Wow. <laughs> God bless you, sir. Thank you for being on the show. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you check out this playlist for more videos just like this. It's the artist clips.